Back of the net, away days are back. Hello and welcome to this match day vlog as AFC Bournemouth travel to Brentford, a team that we're playing on Sky at 5.30 p.m. Now, we've not won any games that are not 3 p.m. kickoffs, and also we've not won any televised games. So how's it gonna go today? Well, it's not Griffin Park, it's the GTEC Community Stadium. Of course, Brentford, we've got some great memories against them, and also some not so great at Griffin Park, but they've moved on. They're a club on the rise, and it's our first visit. We traveled up this morning from Bournemouth, we parked at Richmond, and I tell you what, it was a really nice drive, but, we're on our way to Gunnersbury. We're gonna to go to a pub and hopefully then watch the Cherries get a much needed three points. It's a massive game for Bournemouth, a massive game for O'Neill. Look, Thomas Frank, he called time on Jonathan Woodgate's Bournemouth managerial position. He may add to the pressure for Gary O'Neill. Huge game, let's go. arrived we're at Gunnersbury station lovely tube in now if only we could find where the pub is oh look there it is we're in the Gunnersbury and Tex is here hello mate how hello, are, buddy, you? are you all right yeah good mate lovely journey up and was, you know what yeah. I always like a pub that's not too busy and yeah. we always seem to pick well and this is a good pretty much pub isn't it? yeah the Gunnersbury lovely pub uh, Quite a few cherries there, a few Brentford there, very friendly atmosphere. Uh, London prices, but you know, it's okay, it's okay. Mike Davis, Hello. how are you, Sam? Good, mate. Brentford good brings man. back a lot of good, uh, good and uh, memories for me back in the old days. Oh, blimey, yeah. Because Griffin Park, and the, but recently though, I mean, they've, they've, they're a team on the up, and at the moment it feels like we're a team that aren't on the up, but you know, maybe that'll change. Fantastic memories of Brentford. Um, well, I've probably been here a dozen times, but obviously not to the new stadium. But I've, I've seen us win here, I've seen us lose here, I've seen us draw here. You know, everything's gone on between us and Brentford in the past. Isn't it? Four pubs on each corner, Sam. Back in the day when we were League One, you know, traditionally a League One fixture. So many, many happy memories, many good memories of this fixture. But this is a different kettle of fish today. It does feel like they are slightly in advance of us in terms of where they're at as a, as a football club not just on the pitch but off the, off the field as well we're hoping to catch up and and get there um, and it's a, it's another huge game on the on the pitch particularly you know more so for us of course than it is for them at the moment how are you feeling about the game today mate i sort of said in my intro could thomas frank who called time on woody be calling time on o'neill i suspect that there's a couple of games to play with for gary o'neill we need points we need points but we need performances as well i, I don't think today would be the get the day um, no matter, unless unless it was a nine 0 Liverpool style, then you know maybe um, some people are picking holes in kind of things that Gary O'Neill has been saying after games. Really might help drawing comparisons to, to Barker. I don't really think that's fair person at the moment. Uh, and some people do. You know, on Twitter, some people do kind of hope that we lose today in a weird kind of way. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not with that yet. I hope I'm never with that actually. Um, but really, yeah, for me, um, I'll take a performance. Today. I'd love a point. I'll take a point, really would. Ben Phillips, I'm disappointed in you. What is going on here? You've left half your food. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What, what's going I mean, yeah, it was it was enough for about 10 million people. But anyway, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Brentford, mate, new ground. Is it going to bring some positive memories for Bournemouth? Well, Brentford's form is so good, isn't it? Yeah. Really good. And their atmosphere, we could learn a thing or two from them because after the Liverpool game, it was actually bouncing, wasn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, they're, they're a great side. You know, it's kind of them, Brighton, Fulham that have been doing better than everyone's expected this season. I would say. So yeah, they're, they're a great side, and there's something that we can maybe look up to in, inspire us because you know, a couple of years back we were very similar quality, and they, they, they just look streets ahead of us now. And 
the fact that Tony's back as well doesn't fill me with too much hope. But you never know, it's football at the end of the day, so what, what, whatever will happen will happen. Right, Frank, yet to see a league goal. Yeah. And you saw a couple in the cup, and we lost 4 2. Um, look, uh, Brentford, both without Dom Solanke. Brentford yeah. with Ivan Tony and Whistle up front. Yep. How are you feeling about the chance of seeing a goal in this one now? I feel confident in seeing a goal. Yeah. I've been confident in every game though, so that's nothing to go by. <laughs> um, but I don't know, I think Keeper can cause some problems. And I, I think Christie was good at United, yeah. and I think Anthony can get at. Uh, Rosliff, I think, is at right wing back, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's playing today, but I'm quietly confident. I said that at United as well. So, um, Has this trip been a... I mean, it, like it's been a success to see friends and family, right? Yeah, it's been see Bournemouth, it's been... You know, it's nice to see the lads, but obviously the, the, the one win would be nice. But Yeah, I mean, you can't take it to the ground. We haven't been there for seven years, so any game's a bonus, but... To see, see a point today would be a real, real way to end it, I think. Richard Jackson. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm wonderful, are thank you, you. Are you excited to see a new ground? I am. I used to live down here and I used to go to the old ground occasionally, but I walked past that actually on the way here. So it's uh, good to see a new ground. I wanted to do that all season. So at least I'm here. Shame uh, <laughs> may not see the performance that we want, though. Heather, how are you? I'm alright, thank you. You sound like you've got a bit of a cold. Yes, yeah, it's been going on since before Christmas. So. Oh, you know what? Um, AFC ball was bad, form has been going on yeah. since Christmas. Um, are we going to get something today? I don't know, maybe a point. Yeah. I'll go for 1 1. <laughs> all day I've said two all, so I'm going to stick by it. Um, I'd love to see a point today, really, but a goal in the league would be a plus. A point would be a real, real way to end it. A win, maybe not, but let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go one all. I'm going to go for a. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go for a nil nil. Boring. <laughs> Logan, what are you playing? What, what what is this game you're playing? Cooking Go. Is it? Right, anyway, let's let's talk about important things. Football. What's the score gonna be today, Logan? Two one ball. Who's gonna score? Um, Hopefully Dom, Dom Solanke might not be we we don't know. In a couple of minutes we'll know. Dom Solanke and Christian. Right, okay. In fact, I think it's coming up top last four. Let's get team news with Tom. Come on. Right, 4.30 then, teams are out, Tom, give me the good news. Uh, there isn't many, um, I got 10 out of 11, and that's because Dom, which we did mention, that he is out. So the Kiefer Moore comes in, uh, but yeah, Neto in goal, Neto's back in, um, as we said. Then Stacey at a right back with, uh, it looks like Neckham and Celeste set the with Kelly left back. And then Lerma, Lewis Cook, and Billin in the middle with Christie and Anthony either side of Kiefer Moore. Subs bench Travers, Stevens, Rothwell, Sariki Dembele, Pearson, Zamura, Sadie, De Costa Gonzalez, and Adu Ajay. That indicates then that all these rumours about Dom Solanke, maybe an ACL or knee injury, certainly could, could yeah. be true then, mate. I mean, he wasn't training on Friday. No, obviously Tavernier's out, which is a blow, but I think uh, someone like a Sariki would help because I just don't see how we're going to get in and around Kiefer but yeah that's what he's done um, tell me about Brentford mate yeah as for them mate I thought I'd get that bang on but I didn't because um, Visser is playing um, but Tony is playing as well but Wemo's not so uh, Visser's up, up up top with uh, Tony and they've also brought Ajay back in as well so yeah kind of standard for them but a few personnel changes as I say Visser's in for Wemo but um yeah, a little bit worried. Um, it's a weird one, isn't it? You send Jamal Lowe out on loan to get minutes. He might have had a chance there. Um, and then Christian Sadie's currently got two um, against his old club, uh, for Shrewsbury against Brent Burton. But um, yeah, blow losing Don, but as you say, mate, uh, transfer window. So the best time, I guess. Please with Neto coming back. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a worry. If we can nick something today, go on into Forest and I'll take it. Um, but we're just eagerly eagerly keeping our eye on the uh, Premier League scores at the moment, mate, because um, there's a lot of games in and around us, so if we can pick anything up today, I'll take it. It's 
score prediction today, I mean, I'll, I'll always be positive as a Bournemouth fan. I'm never going to be too downbeat and too negative. I just feel like, you know, everybody's got on Gary O'Neill's back. You know, pl fans are getting on players back individually, which is, for me, totally out of order. I don't see what that achieves at all. We chose to go with Gary O'Neill. I think he, he earned that opportunity um, up to a point. We chose to go with him, so we, we need to get behind him as a fan base. Um, you know, tearing into players individually, what's that going to achieve? All it's going to do is affect their confidence badly, I think. We, we, we know we've got talent in the team still. Um, we're up against it, the chips are down. To me, it feels this feels like a Nottingham Forest away mm, all over again, Sam. Sure, where before the game we were writing us off, weren't we? Half time, back, we were writing half time we were writing us off. And yeah, we come, we come from 2 0 down to win 3 2. And, I was, as you know, I was absolutely buzzing after that one, and, and the passion came back. It all came back. I'm hoping for the same today, Sam. I'm going to go for, um, I'm going to go for a t not a three-two. I'm going to go for a two-one Bournemouth win. Well, I put on Super Six to all, but uh, yeah, that's more hope than expectation, I think, really. So, if we come away with a two-all, that'd be great. Realistically, probably we're going to get beaten and might get beaten quite badly, but. Jeez. We're here, we live in hope. There you go. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> yeah, we're that's, here. that's we about all we can say, really. We're going to nick a point and we're going to get out of the drop zone. Yeah. Keep them all 1 1. We're on our way to the ground. We've just had our tickets checked. And I can hear fans shouting. I've got no idea where the stadium is. Where is it? And then another. Right, chest. Oh look, you know what? They got a light show going on out there. Look at this. Okay, is this the GTA Community Stadium? Or is this Wembley Arena? Look at this. to watch AFC Bournemouth will take that. Cut it out to start with, but he got there, he played Bill in down the flank. 
build ships and lovely little lofty ball. It's a bit of a loop, loopy header on it. Yeah, I know, but you had to get to the back stick and it was just that slight bit too high for Kipo, which is a real shame when you put it on top of the net. But that's our, that's our first promising attack, really. That's a shot. That's a shot on Real shot, mate. And take it. It's a good little break, that. Good little break. Jaden uh, nipped in, didn't he? I'll tell you what, are we the better side? Are we? Are we? <laughs> Logan's just put on uh, bet 365, 3 to 1, key for more to open scoring. Fair play to him. No way! There was a pull in the box. And a penalty's been awarded at Brentford. Ivan Tony and Sanessi holding each other. Neto has been booked. And Ivan Tony is going to do his usual technique in the hope of putting Brentford one and up. In my eyes, that was six and one half a dozen of the other. For me, no, but I can see why it's given. It's it started off. Tony started putting it on Sanessi when they're sort of tussling for to get to the ball first, and then it's carried on, and Sanessi's ended up dragging him down afterwards. It's, it is a pen in the rules of the game, but for me, Tony started it, yeah. and uh, Sanessi's brought in. You know, he's, he's brought he's took the plate really, and he's took him down. I'm not sure what Neto got a yellow card for. That's been silly, but. I don't know, I don't think they deserve this, this lead, personally. They've been a slightly better team, but I wouldn't say by a lot, would you? I mean, no, no, not at all. We've had, we've had a couple of moments, small moments, not very great moments, but they haven't done a lot either. No. So, go on, go on. Oh. 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 Tom, how did you enjoy that refereeing performance, or do, do I not need to be told? Once it's given, it's never going to overturn. Of course not. Never. No, not in a million years, mate. That's never going to go overturn. It's not clear and obvious. It's not clear and obvious error. It's not clear and obvious error. Debates are raging on. Tiggs, you had the fortune of not seeing that in the flesh, didn't you? Yeah, I watched it on the screen here, which actually, oddly, probably gave me a better look at it. And uh, he bought it, he knew exactly what he was doing. And, you know, some people could say he bought it. Some people might say Sanesi was a little bit naive. So, but what can you do? And as a defender in that situation, what other options do you have? You back off? So he bought it, he paid money, and then he earned more than what he gained from it. Yes. That's unlike him. Not good. Not good. These bloody Aussies. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, yeah he, he thought long and hard about that, didn't he? Yeah, it's one of those where he gave himself a minute and he still got it wrong. Yeah. But once he gave it, there's obviously contact involved, but they're never going to overturn it. And we got away from clearing at home that we got Owen Hargreaves and Darren Bent at home and both said, foul by Tony first. And they, he pulled him into it. But it's one of those, they're never going to overturn it because there's contact. It's one of them, I think. I was looking at the ref thing, if he don't give it, it's not getting overturned, so we might get away with it. But he gave it, maybe a little bit naive from Celeste, but I think it's a foul in the build up. And Tony licks arms with him. Very, very harsh. We're, we're not very good as it is. We could do with a break. Do you know what I mean? And we're not getting them. Penalty is not a penalty, it's just being shown on the screen now. Um, and Lewis Cook comes off injured, so really harshly done by the moment. Uh, yeah. They said it's kind of soft, it, yeah. so yeah, yeah it, it feels harsh mate, but that's the way it's going at the moment, isn't it? And uh, yeah. Lewis Cook injury just tops that off. Come out of 
watched in the second half a lot better. A weak handball shout there, no way a handball. But I'll tell you what, it's the only better. Thing is, I suppose we don't make those shouts. I, I believe, I believe, from the way that penalty went, there's a chance the referee might think he owes us one. Are you in Australia out? <laughs> they, they should never be in Eurovision, I've always said that. Sorry, Ryan. No, not sorry, Ryan. I'm Kieran in. <laughs> Sixty-two. Get them back on now. No shaking them really. <laughs> no, come on, they're, they're not that good. No. Just get him on. Just get some more on now. Finish him. Finish him. That's a prime example of getting towards the more on the pitch. So Jay Natley's got it there with two players on him. Yeah. Kenny's not overlapping because he's not that side with the fullback. Just get, some more on. Free, oh, just get some more on. Just get some more on. He's doing it on his own on that left leg. Just he's get just, some more on. Get got... Leon. Let's have a fucking go. Yeah. I mean, like, he's got no help. All this helps on the inside, whereas he'll always have an option on the outside when Zamozo up. Yeah. Jaden's just been substituted. Uh, we, we all call for Dembele, but Jaden Anthony has been taken off. Instant habit! They're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. Go! Tell me that wasn't obvious. Tell me that wasn't obvious. Jack Stacey assist, I think. Yeah. We've had a chance to have a go. We've had all the ball. We could have brought some more on, but he's kept the caddy at left back. They're making some noise though. Okay. What must Foley be thinking? What must he be thinking? Watching this, it's been a better performance, but. Just some little decisions that Gary O'Neill is making, isn't making. Yeah. I don't know, seems to be a little bit off. It's a bit, I mean, that's, that's a dagger to the heart of that one. Just a killer blow because we were, we were the better side the second half. Stupid. Just a bit hit on the brakes, really easy for That's not good. Doesn't help anyone, that charm. Um, but we're singing it. You've got you've got Bournemouth fans turning on each other. Some some bloke trying to create some atmosphere by bagging the fence, and Cherry's fans having to go at him up there. That's kind of. Cheers, mate. That's the level of where we're at, and that's the level of performance that we um, have witnessed today. Pour all over, two 0 
free for all done then check it out the card that's on the screen if you haven't seen it already some very varied opinion and uh, some of it not so complimentary about O'Neill at Cubridge station then went to go back uh, Tom you're just on your phone seeing mm. some quotes from O'Neill coming out of the club what's he saying uh, talking about a penalty decision mainly obviously good deflection um, how we're in a day and age with VAR and that's given is scandalous I had a word with the referee, he was history of us, and I thought he was equally bad tonight. Interestingly, the first comment is, how in a day and age, I think Gary O'Neill was a good appointment. It's scandalous. But yeah, Gary O'Neill rightly saying that won the penalty, but um, easy deflection for him. But yeah, he's not happy with uh, Gillett, and I don't know if them comments might land him in a bit of trouble. What a day, what a day. Back home later than planned because we stopped at Fleet and had some food and just ruminated over what we witnessed today. And it wasn't even the manner of today's performance. It's just when everything's combined, how are we in the position we're in? We've lost nine out of the last ten. We're losing the games that are winnable against the teams in and around us. You know certain games are going to be free hits. The ones against those in and around us, we're not even competitive in. Our squad is thin. Our mentality and confidence seems to be completely bereft at the moment. Our body language is absolutely shocking. And the lack of accountability, it's alarming. Things need to change and our stubbornness in not making any changes could relegate us. Action needs to be taken. Fine. Chuck money at it. Fine. But we've got to stop refusing to accept that there's an elephant in the room here. Look, there could be a movie production with Sam Mendes as executive producer, Steven Spielberg as director. If Sam Davis is playing the lead role, it ain't gonna work. You need quality all over and it's clear that there's a big problem because we're sleepwalking to the championship. It's really drab, there's nothing exciting about us whatsoever. I feel for Gary O'Neill, I do feel for him, but you sort of realise that what happened when he came in, it was a bounce, and it's nothing more than a bounce, because after a bounce occurs, you then need tactical nows, you need experience, you need know-how, you need to be cunning, and you need to know how to get every last drop out of the players. If you don't have that after your bounce, a bounce is all it is, and let's, let's put the Everton results aside, because they are trash. Saints beat them. The form is is really poor, and he's on borrowed time. It's it's scary now to 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 think of what's going to happen in the future. I think there's probably only one more game. The players, if they if they want to keep him as manager, have got to show they want to keep him as manager. Today, I don't think they did. It was better, but not good enough. What two shots? Yeah, it's poor. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens during the week um, sorry about the ending bit but I'm just really disappointed with um, how things are, are panning out at the moment and it's like I've always said it's when it's contrasting with what's happening off the pitch it, the feeling is more intense and the frustration is just increased tenfold by the fact that all these positive sound bites occur off the pitch but on it we're in a real, real bad place so, if you want to learn more about how the Cherries are faring, whether you're a Bournemouth fan or just someone who's got a passive interest in all things AFC Bournemouth, press the like button. We'd truly appreciate it. But subscribe as well because there'll be videos dropping throughout the week where I'm sure we'll chat some more. Until the next one, up the Cherries. <laughs>